Elizabeth Darling and Lisa Oberacher coming, you, coming to you from the NovaCare on Old French Road. And Lisa works at Executive Personal Fitness. And we have a passion for injury prevention. We've already done a video to show you a little bit about uh, dynamic warm-ups that you can do before practice. We'd like to show you a couple strengthening things you can do or things you can think about after practice. So one thing you want to think about after practice is a couple strengthening things that you can do. Your muscles are already a little bit fatigued. You want to work on perfect form and execution of the skill to help you get more strength around the hips and the thighs and the knees to help prevent injury. So Lisa's going to show us a simple squat. Their arms going out in front of her. Good, and down. Come back up, and again. So after practice, you could just work on maybe five of these, working on perfect form, and go all the way down. And what we're looking for here is her knees not coming in front of her toes. We want her knee also in line between her first and second toe. And we don't want her shifting too far to either side. Come on up. That might seem like a simple exercise, but after you're done with practice, your muscles are a little fatigued, tired. It's a good time to work on perfect biomechanics. Now, go ahead and do it on one leg. Stand on one leg, and down, and up. And maybe you could do about five of those on each side. Go ahead, do it again on the right, hold that a minute. We're watching to see if her knee goes in or out. Come on up, and again. Again, it seems simple, but if you're already a little bit tired, this is the time to work on that. You want to control that knee going in and out to help prevent injuries for the knee, the ankle, and also for that ACL tear. Okay, next thing is a single leg deadlift. So the good thing about being on your one leg is it's going to help work with balance, which is important for athletics. Go ahead, stand on that one side. Go ahead and bend over. Your knee can be unlocked and come back up. And again, bend over. You're getting eccentric work on the leg that's down and come up. And you're also working to make sure that knee doesn't go in or out. And again, this time when you get down, hold it. And now from here, you're gonna do a donkey kick up to the ceiling. And up, and up, and up. Good, so you're getting good stability on the leg that's down, but you're also getting nice concentric work of the leg that's up. You would have to do that exercise on both sides. And then the last thing that you could add, because you don't want this routine to be too time consuming, you just want it to hit the highlights, and then you can move on to the rest of your day, is so we're going to do a side plank. And she's going to press up, good, and then we're going to lift this leg up and down, and up, and try not to totally rest in between, up and down. And you really want to use this muscle back here, okay? This is a muscle, the gluteus medius, that oftentimes has weakness that leads to the knee moving in and out. It can lead to some of these knee injuries or ankle injuries or even hip injuries. So it's important as you're holding this side plank, let's press up and try one more time, to not only be stable on the bottom half of your body, but really to be stable in this glute as you lift this leg up and down, and even a little bit more behind your body as you lift better and down. Good rest. All right. Thanks for joining Lisa and I as we give you a couple exercises to help promote healthy knees and help improve your power and speed for your sport.